Hello, I am hopping on to share with you guys a project share. I signed up for a fruit swap, a juicy fruit swap, and I think I'm finished. So I was going to share what I've created before I pack it all up and send it off. So uh, one of the requirements was to create a memory dex card. So I used the berry basket die from Scrap Diva Designs, and then I punched these memory decks holes at the bottom. It actually lines up perfectly. Um, I just used the Martha Stewart punch and, um, not Martha Stewart, I'm sorry, Heidi Swap punch and, um, punch the little memory decks holes at the bottom. And then I decorated this thing up. Uh, I've got the strawberries up here. I use the KS Craft strawberry die and it comes with the smaller strawberries and the big one. And so I just lined those up up here and then I put a bigger one here on the front. I used some ephemera and pieces from the Bella Boulevard um, Squeeze the Day collection. Um, and I think it just turned out super cute. I've got a little dangle over here with some charms, uh, little fruit charms and a little bow. And then I've got these little white flowers. And I created these using a die from, I think I got that from Shein if I remember right. So this is the back. Um, it's very plain on the back and it's not super cute because, you know, you can see the back of this. But um, this is where you would put your information here on the back of the memory decks. So I really think this turned out super cute. Um, I think it's like the perfect size for a memory deck. So you might try it out, see how you like it. So I created um, three of those. They're all pretty much the same. Um, they're just a little bit different. So like this one has a red strawberry, this one has a light pink strawberry, and then this one has the bright pink strawberry. But for the most part, they're pretty close to the same. So that is my memory dex card. Okay, then we had to create uh, two bag toppers. And so I used the new KS Craft die to create these bag toppers. I created a watermelon. Um, you can create a watermelon with the die. You just use the rind piece and then I use the little seeds and cut them out in black and then I use the um, sentiments here the orange or lemon sentiments this one says hand-picked and uh, again I've got some ephemera here from the um, Bella Boulevard uh, squeeze the day so there's the watermelon one and then here is the orange um, so I did an orange as well and then I've got the same sentiments there and I got a little um, embellishment piece, and then I put a little glittered white seed, um, orange seed there. So I created uh, a bunch of these. So there's that. And then I've got this one. And this one. And I've got this one. And this one. So I think those turned out pretty cute. They were a lot of fun to make. All right, so let me move those out of the way. Okay. Uh, then we had to create two tags, and I'm not quite finished with the tags. I need to make three more, um, but this is what they're all going to look like, basically. So there is a lime tag here, and there is a strawberry, and then the lemon. And I used the Queen & Company Shaker Dyes or shaker kit, I should say, um, to create these. And again, I think they turned out pretty cute. The tag is from uh, Reverse Confetti, which is not in business anymore. It makes me very sad because I loved everything that they made. Um, so those are my tags. Okay. Uh, we had to create uh, two bows. So I used my favorite bow die. Well, one of my favorite bow dies. Um, this I got off of Amazon, this bow, and uh, it creates this fun kind of layered bow. And so these are the ones that I made. So they're all very similar, um, just with different pattern papers. And so on some of them, they have the, let me see if I can get that to focus. They have the strawberry in the center. And on some of them, they have these little cherries in the center. So this one has pink cherries. And this one has white cherries. So I think those are fun. 
Okay, and so there's the bows. Um, we had to create a sequins mix. So this is what I'm going to send my sequins mix in. Um, I used the coin purse that I showed in my um, prep video. And I just created a little dangle over here on the side with this giant uh, pineapple. And I've got a few little uh, beads on here and these little strawberry clay beads, which are super cute. So you can see that. And then on the inside, I just have my sequins mix. And then I have the um, watermelon clay pieces that I'm going to send along. So I've got three of those going. Okay, so there's that one with the lemons, and this one has the multi-fruit, and then this one has the um, watermelons and palm leaves. So, fun. Okay, the last thing I have to share is what I'm going to package this in. So I used the um, new loaded pocket die from KS Craft. I also used the new... Um, like sort of fruity tropical drink dye, shaker dye, and I created these little tropical drinks. I used the um, lemon sentiments here and just layered it all up on the front of this. I think it turned out so fun. This little drink is just the cutest thing ever. I've got some glittered um, cardstock up here on the whipped cream. These little lemons are from uh, My Favorite Things. Um, I just had those in my stash, so I cut them out to add some little accents on there. Got a little paper clip up there. This is a sentiment that I cut out of the pattern papers and I just love, love, love it. So cute. Um, I've got a dangle over here on the side and I just put a bunch of charms, fruit themed charms on here and some beads. And there's a little bit of everything on here. There's a little fruit drink and some cherries. So all kinds of stuff on here. And I did do the pockets on both sides so that I have plenty of room to pack all my stuff. On the back, I kept it pretty simple. This is where I'm going to put my label, you know, handmade by on the back. Um, but I did go ahead and put this hand-picked sentiment on the back of each one. Um, but I did want to keep this flat so that it would be clear that that's the back and that this is the front. So there is that one. And here is this one. So just a little bit different pattern papers and color scheme. I just love, love, love how it turned out. So cute. And then this is the back. And then um, I'll be able to tuck in all of my um, swap goodies into the pocket here and then keep it all in one neat package. And then this is the last one. So... Oh, and these little cherry cabochons, I got those on Timu. I think you can also get these at Hobby Lobby. I've seen them there. So there's that one. And here is the back. So that is what I have created for the swap. I'm about to get this mailed off and into the hands of uh, the host. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope y'all are having a great day. All right, bye.